Digimon, Digital Monsters, Digimon are the champions. What? Not Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh this time, but Digimon. So these were at a local Target and I picked them up. It's been a while since I've opened Digimon cards. I think it's been like 20 years since I've opened Digimon cards. And one of the most memorable moments was when I pulled a Piedmon from a pack that I got in a Kmart. And that was really memorable for me because it was the last pack there. And I don't think I was particularly having the best day so it made me really happy to pull that card. So we're going to start off with Ty's deck. And I'm not really sure how to play this game. Okay, so the I was wondering like what size the cards were. So it seems like these cards are compared to Pokemon. It might be the size of Oh, they're the size of Pokemon cards. I almost thought that they were the size of Yu-Gi-Oh! And you do get a pack to open with it, which is really nice that you get a structure deck or a starter deck in which you get a pack to open as well. And I can see a foil card in there. So to start off and some of these look familiar and some of them aren't. So, Caparimon. And you get one, two, three, four, which is a play set from what I believe with these that you're allowed to have four. And I think that these function a bit like Duel Masters in which you have um, shield cards. So there's a Jazamon, and you get one, two, three, four, so a full play set. Get Agumon here. Oh my goodness, get three, four of these. And I'll try to get a little closer so you can reach it. So it is a blocker, so like with Duel Masters, they have blockers. And only blockers can block your your life points or whatever. Toy Agumon. Don't want to give away what's in the back, though I'm sure that it is pretty standard. So they give you four. Here's Commandramon. They think that because they don't have an effect, they're just a vanilla card. And the, this is like a dark Greymon, so it's different than the usual Greymon. And you can see if your opponent didn't attack with a Digimon this turn, trigger, draw, draw one card from your deck. You get four of those. Jazzardmon, which I believe is the Evolve form. So you get four of those with that one. You get Dark Tyrannomon, just two of those, two Dark Metal Greymons, oh they, get, oh they give you four, my goodness, so Metal Tyrannomon, Megadramon, I do remember Megadramon, from the anime. And here's Machine Dramon, one of the 
I believe Dark Masters, if I'm remembering it right, one of the four Dark Masters in Season 1. If I am wrong, please comment down below what they're really called. But that is really neat seeing that. So you get two of those, and here is the main card in the deck, Blitz Greymon, which I believe is the Mega Evolution. Since it's got a 4 and a level 5, you get two of those. You get how many Tamer uh, ties? You get four. Laser Eye, four. Dark Side Attack, you get two of those. So delete one of your opponent's Digimon with a play cost of seven or less. And that's pretty impactful for a card that has a cost of five. I'm not sure, like, really what gives you a cost for for these. I don't know if it's, like, maybe with Hearthstone. Oh, they give you... So, Digimon card game instructions. Okay, so I did see something about memory. So it might be, like, with Hearthstone... Yeah, the memory gauge. When paying memory costs, you use the memory gauge for each point you play. Move the memory counter one space towards your opponent's side. Oh, okay, so it's like, it's like a Hearthstone kind of thing, but as you play stuff, they can play stuff. Okay, that makes a bit more sense. Talking about attacking... Nothing about blocking, as far as I can tell, but I'll get into these later. It seems like a really neat game. Now, I'm mainly a collector, so more than likely what's going to happen is that these are going to end up in a binder like my older Digimon cards. Now, other... So, other... Streams. They've been pulling the very top over here. These don't seem as foily. They're like really plastic. Plasticky. That's a word. They're very plastic like. Not as foil. Not as much of a foil feel to them. So we have a purge shine which isn't a Digimon, I believe it's like a spell card or a, um, it's a support card of some kind. So we have a Goose Kumon. I got out of camera there for a second. So we have a Geo Greymon. It's interesting seeing like all these different Greymons. So we have Jack Raid. It's a Vmon. Oh my gosh, that's a Vmon. I remember season two. I need to watch Digimon again. So we have Meteormon. And I didn't see the anime that's got the my is Maikumon? Maikumon. Gaumon into a Spinomon. And I believe this is an ultra rare because it has a U down at the bottom. So, Pyranimon, Baboongamon. Oh my goodness. So, this is just a regular rare. So, Marine. Oh, is this an... Oh, this is an uncommon. My bad. I thought that that was actually something. So it's an uncommon. This is a rare. And this is... This is the one. So this is... So I actually got a secret rare, I believe. Secret rare. Ultra rare. Oh, SEC is secret rare. Because it says in the pack, on the back of the pack, that there's three secret rares. So this is a, I believe, okay, this is a super rare. 
now we can establish that these are super rares and they tell you right at the bottom so sr is for super rare secret rare is sec so i got a super rare a lilimon so that's not too bad i do like the backs of these cards but you know for a super rare it's just like all foil feels more like a reverse foil from Pokemon really more than a super rare, but they fit in the sleeves really well. They are the size of Pokemon cards. And they have a little list on the back of all the cards in the pack. And I believe that that's something that Digimon has done for a lot of their products is that they they put like a list which you can like check all the cards in the set this has a pack as well which we will save for the end i was hoping to just like not give it away but i also have Four more blisters to open as well at the end of the video so stay tuned to and continue watching and I will show those off as well so Pagumon it's so cute I think Digimon are so adorable like they but they have like really weird evolutions though Demi Devimon so this is a purple deck. I guess it runs a bit like a dark deck from Magic the Gathering. From what I have read and seen. It is neat seeing Demi Devimon. That is from the uh, Season 1. Here's Gabumon. Get four of these guys. So it's a trigger draw one card. Oh my gosh, this doesn't want to... I, I just do, I don't want to like pull them from the top like that. So we have a Drachmon. Get four of those. Alekmon! Oh my goodness. So Alekmon is the Digimon that watches over the eggs from what I can remember. So he... He, wa he watches over the nursery area, and I believe that that was in the second season with the second set of kids. So I do remember, like, some of the anime, but I do need... So we have Garurumon, and it looks like a darker Garurumon. I'm really digging the art on these, and these are commons because there's a C... Yokomon, that's from season three, I believe, that the girl had. Devimon, from what I watched from a, another YouTube video, this is a really good card. Let's see the effect. When an opponent Digimon attacks, you may s suspend this Digimon to force the opponent to attack it instead, and they lose two memory. So... And then, so as I said from the other pack, memory just shifts back and forth when each player plays stuff. From what it looks like, I could be wrong. I need to watch or read up how to play this game. I'm wondering if there is like an online game of this. So, so Yukimon or Kyokimon. So you get four of those. Skull Satamon. I cannot remember if it's from the anime, but it does look familiar. I have seen this one before. <clears throat> they give you four of those. This is an uncommon. We're Garurumon. It's a really neat artwork. So these are like dark forms. Venom My Otismon. So definitely remember that from the anime. It's when. 
warp digivolving was introduced to us. It was such a badass fight between Mel Greymon and Ven Venomiosmon and War Greymon. So you get two of those. And Kreskarurumon. Get two of these. Such a beautiful card. And here's Matt. His name was eluding me for a bit, so that's why when I started opening the structure deck, I, I didn't like call out his name like with Ty. For some reason, I couldn't remember Matt's name. So there's Deathclaw. Nailbone. Then there's the rules again, which I can go over and read. So far, I'm really enjoying these cards. And once again, I need to open it like this. I think is really weird. And it's just a bit of a pain to kind of like get these out. Don't know what the trick is with these. So final Zubgamon Punch. We have a Strabimon. Otamamon. Growlmon. There we go. There's Growlmon. And it looks like there's Terriermon in the background and Angemon in the background. Guskamon. Dokunemon. Jack Raid again. Sakudomon. Oh, Bakemon. I remember Bakemon early on. Early in the anime. So this is a ultra rare. Another ultra rare. So Sunizamon into Pollen Spray. And what did I get? This I got a super rare. But I am liking this one as opposed to the other one because as you can see there's a little bit of texture to that so that is really neat I'm going to sleeve that up as well so i'm wondering whether with these packs you get a super rare or higher in every pack you probably do That way, at least you get a hollow foil each and every time. They really tape these packs in. Thought it was going to be a lot easier. Well, it's not too bad. I can just use a box cutter, uh, cutter over the top, just cut the tape. Of course, if you're a kid, you know, with adult supervision, let them open that up for you. The heck, even though I'm an adult, sometimes I feel like I need adult supervision. All right. Even though this video is already like 20 minutes in, I'm still like really enjoying like some of these new so a dark gabumon so there's a zubgamon which looks really familiar to blastmon I, I don't know what's going on with that so vermilion remember that um i'm thinking like that was the fight when agumon first did evolved into greymon Sangomon, Cerberusmon, Gatsumon, Seal, Sealsdramon, Roachmon. Okay, so we're seeing like some familiar ones here. Budmon, 
Roduramon into, and what is this one? So it's super rare. So Rise Greymon. So I think it looks like a... Trying to think. So it's not Mega. It's the one underneath it. Ultra. Ultimate. So it's an Ultimate. I believe. But I could be wrong. That could be a Mega. So it goes Champion, Ultimate, Mega. Alright, so Meteormon. So you get something good out of every pack. So even though I see something glistening in the back, we don't know whether it's good or not. So Purge Shine, seeing some duplicates. So Grap Leomon. So it's like a different kind of like Leomon. Phantomon. So Myotismon's one of his henchmen. So May Crackmon, Sakudamon, so a lot, so Dobermon, they look like a Doberman pincher. So, uh, Serenizamon, Zedgarurumon, that looks really, really cool. Into a Plutomon, so a super rare here. So that is a really neat pickup. Going to put that in his sleeve. And I'm guessing this is a mega form because it wouldn't be like that cool looking if it wasn't. So, still no secret rare. I'm wondering what at least one of the secret rares from this pack looks like. So opening these packs are not too bad. Once you get past it, you can just continue like breaking it open from the top. Come on. So I haven't seen this one before. So Hippo, Griffamon. We have that same card. Skull, Scorpiomon. Aqua Viper. Labramon into a Flamemon. That's really cute. <laughs> and it's probably a Candlemon. It seems like a Candlemon. I'm just guessing. Falcomon. Missymon. Bakemon. Into a regular rare. So this is Shine Greymon. Into an. So you, you don't get a hollow foil every single time. So it's not a super higher. But still, I did get two rares. So last pack, I just don't want to pull a duplicate. I happen to have like really bad luck with pulling duplicates, except I can never seem to pull duplicates of really like hard to pull cards. My luck is always like really, really weird like that. Oh, this is an interesting looking card. Blimpmon. 
Oh my gosh. So, single mon, vermilion mon, Pyromon. So, it's like an alternate, like, Anjimon, and I've seen this with, like, other Digimon cards before. So, that one's not, like, too weird to me. So, haven't seen this one yet. So, Regalcusmon, if I'm pronouncing it, Cylonic Kick, Devimon. So, this is a different Devimon, Trash 2 of the Stigimon's Div uh, D evolution cards to activate the effect below delete one of your opponent's level three digimon that's pretty cool so this is an uncommon banko gomon a goonimon sunflowmon into another zed gurumon and let's see what i can get here so, a Braco Leomon. So that's what I'm ending it on. So, two rares. So, you get a rare, I believe, every pack. And then the last slot can be anything like a rare higher. So, you get like two rares from what I gather. But still, still some decent pulls that out of all of the packs that I pulled a I think super 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 all supers so no ultras it would have been nice to have pulled an ultra rare but I guess those have like really low pull rates apparently Yu-Gi-Oh tends to I think for ultra rares are like one out of every four packs Yu-Gi-Oh just gives ultra rares away at this point but it's nostalgic, to say the least. I mean, it gets me back into collecting Digimon cards. I mean, I've got a lot of the old school Digimon cards, as I stated. So if you like the video, please hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell, all that good stuff. Comment down below. Uh, say which card is your favorite. If I missed some of the rules with the back of one of these, and I don't know what's up with this like punch out portion right here. Oh, do they have an online? They do have an online. Download the app from the official website. They do have an online game. I think I will look into that. So catch you all next time. This is Lay the Lake. Peace out.